Hello, my name is Ellis and I'm a full-time illustrator. It's been a while since I did a video like this but I thought it was a really great time to reflect and look back over the last five, nearly six years of being a full-time illustrator and tell you a little bit about how I got here. The purpose for this video is more to tell you about where I would like to go next. I've had a lot going through my mind recently and I thought it would just tie really nicely into one video. So I quit my job in 2017. Uh, it was a corporate world job that I worked really hard to get. I used to work with animals, I was a dog trainer. And then gradually over time it just became a job that I didn't love anymore. It turned into something that I didn't enjoy. It turned into a big sort of game and you had to play the game. I just felt like a cog in someone else's empire and it just didn't feel right to me. It felt very unnatural and eventually I wanted to get back into my art. So I did actually go to university. I think I was at uni around the 20... 11 2012 sort of mark but i went and did a foundation course at university and from the first week that i stepped through those doors i hated it it was very different to what i'd known and i went to university with um this vision of learning what i needed to learn to then leave and get a job in the art world and back then i mean i'm now 31 so it was 10 11 years ago uh, even in that very short space of time it's there's so many more doors and avenues now to get into the creative world if you wish it i went into illustration i chose illustration at university and that was the sector i wanted to focus on uh, and once the foundation course was finished i had the choice to then go on and take that to degree level but I didn't, I dropped out. I just didn't believe I could do it. So I then went down the other route, which is the other passion in my life, which is animals. And I thought I'd get a job with animals and that's what I did. That was my corporate world job and I was there for five years. The last year, year and a half of that job, uh, it made me very miserable and it didn't feel right. It was making me really unwell. Eventually it was starting to just have a really negative impact on my mental health. My husband was like, right, just quit. And I dug my heels in. I said, I, I don't want to quit. I can't quit. What about money? What about income? What about my job? Like I've worked really hard for this. It's secure, it's well paid. I get healthcare, <laughs> I get sick pay. But after a lengthy conversation or two, or maybe a few with my husband, he was like, look, just, just quit it's fine. I know not everyone is in that position. I have never ever forgotten or lost sight of how lucky I was to have my husband to support me whilst I built up my own business. So I wrote my notice out and I handed it in and I have not looked back. The first two or three years were really hard trying to work out how to market and also I already have my YouTube channel so I've kind of maintained that and tried to grow it. It has been hard the YouTube platform for me has its not been kind. It regularly turns my comments off. It's infuriating. If you ever see that my comments are turned off, it's not me, it's them. But I've continued with it and it's something I want to continue because I love making videos. As frustrating as this platform can be sometimes, it's also like a huge joy in my life and I love spending time here. I realised that art was really, really what I wanted to do. So I adopted the sink or swim attitude. It was basically Ellis, you have to make this work. So the first couple of years were were really great fun. Uh, looking back on them, there was a lot, like a hell of a lot I still had to learn. Everything I know and do now, and there's, I still don't know so much, there's so much I'd love to learn, but all of it's been like self-taught through various different platforms. If I wanted to learn something, I've had to kind of allocate that time to like sit and study and learn it. And a lot of trial and error, a lot of practice. I've made so many mistakes. I've done things I have massive regrets over, um, but it's all been part of a, a much valued learning curve. And in that time, a lot of things have changed. My work used to be very cute, very pastel, very kawaii. And eventually I just thought this isn't speaking to me anymore. I felt myself being pulled in a different direction. I think a big life event also contributed to that and made me realise that life is too short. I went through a miscarriage in 2019 slash 2020. It was at the end of a year, so it kind of overlapped into another year. So the start of 2020 for me was really dark and gloomy, but it also made me realise 
thought I can find beauty in the dark and gloom and to just adopt and carry that close to me and expand on it and explore it and just see where it takes me. I've always been quite scared of what other people would think about my interest in the macabre and the darkness and things like collecting taxidermy and the weird and wonderful curios and oddities that there are in this world. I always felt quite self-conscious that people would think that I was nuts and then obviously 2020 as well was the start of the pandemic so so much has happened in that space and then business kind of took a massive flip on its head i had a lot of work to do on myself i had a lot of healing and recovery to do from um what happened in 2019 and then i felt ready again i didn't know whether i would or not but i did eventually and my husband and I were blessed and we went on to have our son. I feel so incredibly lucky to be his mum. And again, business is feeling as if it is about to take a bit of a, a switch up. So I've been thinking about it for the last few months and I was starting to kind of, as it usually does with maternity leave, I think it's very, very normal for people to have a career change or feel as if something's got to sort of like a little shift almost. And I think that's very normal but I didn't realise that it was so normal. Like for most of last year, I just thought that things were slipping away from me and I was trying to scramble back onto them and go back to what I knew. But what I've realised as we enter the new year is to not try and scramble onto what you already know, but to just embrace the flow and go into a new chapter. I don't really feel any shame in admitting that I'm really really scared and it's taken a lot of crying in the evening and a lot of frustrations and a lot of just feeling so lost and so disconnected with everything that I'm trying to produce and it wasn't until I sat down with my husband again and he was like we need to figure this out you are not happy right now something I've always sort of aspired to be is a children's book illustrator but I've always been terrified terrified of what I don't know terrified of what I need to learn so what I've decided to do is try not to be scared anymore and just go for it so I've decided to kind of focus this year on building my portfolio, developing my skills, trying to grow as an illustrator as much as I can. My shop's going to stay open uh, and I'm also going to be maintaining my YouTube channel but also what I'm going to be putting a lot more focus into is my Patreon page where I'm going to be sharing more behind the scenes, all of my sketchbook spreads, just learning all of the <laughs> trial and error stuff that I happen to come across and documenting this journey. When I think back to myself that I quit security for this i quit sort of like an average nine to five job i look back on that and i think i wouldn't go back this is what i'm meant to do um it's just that sometimes we lose our way a little bit life happens big life events happen sometimes you get thrown slightly off course um and just because you've been thrown off course it doesn't mean you have to get back on the same track you could take a different direction if you want to if things are feeling a bit different. I'm very excited. I hope you will stick around for the journey. And if you're new watching, I hope you will subscribe. It'll be lovely to have you with us. And yeah, here's to an exciting creative 2023.